welcome. I am Matthias and this is my lovely wife. Amanda Faye, you can't see her, she's doing something in there. But we're about to leave for the cruise. Yes. And she's gonna... You told me to do this right as you started. Okay. <laughs> it's cold. I know, it's cold. I got wrinkles in my shirt. I'm all packed with my new suitcase. Ooh, it's cute. So cute. I got my backpack on, got my gear right here. Your we're ready to go. Is so big. My suitcase is big because I'm prepared for the inevitable or for the unexpected. I don't know. For it to be cold, I don't know. I don't know if I'm prepared for that. And so we're in the heart of LA downtown trying to like navigate through all this traffic. Look at the bridges and everything. What? It's so beautiful. Not too much traffic right now. LA is usually has tons of traffic. Um I would live down here. I like the city if there just wasn't so much traffic. And yeah. Well, that's what makes the city the city. <laughs> I know. I love the buildings. I love, you know, like all, you know, the, the heart of the city. You know, you know. You know, you know. It's just uh, <laughs> crazy. Another thing that I forgot to say is that today it is about 88 degrees and it's January. And um, I don't early think... Early January. Yeah, early January. I don't think that we're going to be getting any more cold weather for the rest of the year. What do you think? I don't know. It, it'll go in and out. But I think as far as like cold, like 40 degrees that we were having last week, I don't think that's going to happen. I think this is Battleship Iowa. That's our cruise ship! <laughs> <laughs> no, that's way too industrial. Look at the missiles or something. What? That's, look look at those little things. You're pointing at it, but you're not pointing the camera. That's pretty awesome. This way, hon. We made it. Check it out. Here is the cruise ship called Crown Princess. And we are about to get on board. You excited, Amanda Faye? Yes, I'm excited. We're well, about to get on board. We are about to get on board. So this looks a lot like an airport. It totally does. <laughs> Hopefully it goes faster. And I don't have to take my shoes off. <laughs> it's beautiful. There's a lot of people on here. There's a lot of people so far, but that's just because everyone was trying to get in the elevator. We are 202. It's gonna be small. Because it normally is. Ooh. It's not that small though. Not that small. It's actually a lot bigger than uh, our hotel in New York. <laughs> uh, I think so. Yeah, it is. It's a lot bigger, babe. This is a lot more plain. But look, we have a little balcony. 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 Right now, there's no view, but you will see it when there is a view, and it'll be pretty awesome. All right, so I'm just chilling out on our balcony. Chilling, chilling. With my wife. And we haven't set what off yet. What else would yet. you be chilling with? <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is we haven't set off. <laughs> we haven't set off yet, um, but we're about to. There's been some passengers, evidently, that are causing immigration issues, and we were supposed to set off like an hour ago. Yeah, it's not five o'clock. Or something like that. So, but this is our view right now. There's some water over there. <laughs> um, there's some water over there, as you can see. If we were to look straight down. And over here. Hey, they have a wooden set. What? That's not fair. They got wood chairs and stuff with cushions. All right, so the thing about a cruise is that there's gonna be a lot of downtime. Am I right? Yeah, I have never been on a cruise, I don't know. So, after we've exhausted all of our things to do. Should I come <laughs> here? Um, and it's like late at night or something like that, or I don't know. There's gonna be an off chance we're bored. I had this thing that's really cool. I don't even know if I'll use it, but it's super cool. You guys should you get it. We're gonna use it. This. We're gonna use it. I don't know if I'm gonna use it. Um, what, do you mean? what it? Because I, I don't know. We'll be doing other things. Do I gotta spell it out for you? Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> no. What I'm saying is this thing is called a Rav Power. Okay. 
And what it is, it's, a, it's like a little backup battery, right? But forget that. It's got a little SD card slot and it says its own Wi-Fi network. So all you have to do is download an app on your iPad or iPhone and it will stream the contents of the SD card, in our case a 64 gig SD card, to the iPads and it works flawlessly. Like really, really well. Unlimited storage and it's external. So boom, external storage on an iPad. Didn't think it was possible, done. All right, so Amanda and I, now that we've all kind of like gotten into our stateroom and everything like that, we're gonna go out and explore and see what there is to offer. There's a bunch of cool little restaurants. There's a comedian that we might go see. Um, you know, some there's a magic show that's gonna happen. We gotta look through this entire book right here that uh, is going to tell us how it works. It's a big party. We got, okay, well I got, apparently it's a spicy uh, shrimp, spicy pepperoni shrimp, I don't know. The sauce is like sriracha. There's shrimp on it, there's broccoli, there's bell pepper, and then he just got a pepperoni pizza. I got classic pepperoni. Still, we haven't exited the dock yet. It's what time? 5.30. 5.30, and uh, got myself a dose of We just missed like four or five patrol officers walking that way, really briskly, going to do something. <laughs> I wonder if they're immigration. No? I don't know. Possibly. You look really pretty. You look all right. Oh, thanks, honey. You look very <laughs> handsome. Mm, this fruit is ripe. But is it? Second time eating in less than 20 minutes. <laughs> yes, so I have just normal salad and some uh, fruit. Um, got more shrimp. Fruit, shrimp, cheese, and strawberry shortcake, because why not? <laughs> we are at a bar, so I'm at the end of the ship. Yeah. Is this the end of the ship? We are at the end of the ship. And those are the docks and everything. It's very beautiful. This is the back of the ship, and there's a pool and a bar here, and it looks pretty legit. So legit. So legit. What time is it? 6 15. And we still haven't left yet. <laughs> Hopefully, sometimes it I apologize for the low lighting, but check out this bridge. It's really cool. What do you think? I love it. It's a pretty cool bridge, huh? <laughs> it's, it's that that bridge in daylight is actually really like a bright aqua blue. So it's kind of cool. Still haven't left yet. <laughs> I think we're going to go see a comedy show, yeah? Uh, yeah, I think so. I don't know what kind of comedy he has. Hopefully it's not too, like, adult. Alright guys, we are about to watch a movie under the stars. Check Except, it out. <laughs> you can't even see the stars. You can't see the stars because the movie's too bright, but check this out. There's a pool down there and everything. You can watch a movie in the spa. This is legit. Oh, I'm engrossed already. <laughs> we finally started moving. And I'm going to show you this because we're still right near the port. So I'm going to open this really heavy door here and show you what it looks like. You can barely tell that we're moving, but we definitely, definitely are. And it looks pretty awesome. This is about the only time when you're gonna be able to tell when we're moving because I imagine we're gonna be moving mostly at night. And uh, it's gonna be pitch black out there in just the ocean, so. Eating our mid late snack, I guess. She's got shrimp again. That's I have some different. tiramisu. And I have cherry cheesecake. I love cheesecake. But this is the third different type of shrimp I've had. Yeah. Still cold. They're very good. We're uh, almost at sea level right here. I don't think you're going to be able to see this, but it looks really awesome. We're going pretty fast. Oh, we have service though. I have two bars of 4G and it actually works. Well, yeah. We're still near land, that's why. Oh. Taking a bite of my cheesecake. There's purple stars in the sky. That is a beautiful spiral staircase. And now we're about to walk up it. All right guys, so it is what now? Time? 9.30. 9.30 and I'm about ready to turn in because <laughs> what? It's vacation and sleep is essential, as they say. And we're gonna leave this door open here because it's gonna be a cool 70 degrees over this ocean and we're just gonna watch the ocean go by and just silence. What do you say? We're leaving the door open or the shades? I don't know, both. I don't know. 
I would like to leave the shades open so I could watch because that's awesome. Pretty cool. But today is the finish of day one. Tomorrow you will see day two. What? It is now about 7 a.m. We just woke up just in time for the sunrise. Look how beautiful this is. Right over that ocean. In the distance you can still kind of see some uh, of, uh, I don't know if that's California or Mexico, I'm not sure yet. I have no idea where we are because I have no service. I see something in the distance though. It looks like a dolphin or an otter. Alright guys, so now we are going to go get some breakfast. It is about 8 o'clock and uh, let's see what they uh, got for breakfast up in there. I'm looking forward to it. Maybe waffles, Fruit Loops, I don't know. <laughs> What? Waffles on top of food? Yeah. We saw a comedy show last night. Oh. And I, I didn't say that. And it was kind of mediocre, to be perfectly honest with you. It was like, he said it was observational humor, but it was just observations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I felt insulted multiple times during the show. Yeah, it was really weird. It wasn't like, well, it was probably not geared towards our generation. It was probably geared towards a much older generation. But it still seemed like he was just like kind of like a bitter person that just didn't like life that much. Yep. <laughs> and it wasn't funny. There was like a joke every thirty seconds, and it felt like a lecture, not a not a comedy routine, you know. Yeah, that that was the weirdest part where I felt like I was sitting like getting lectured when I. There were parts where he was him. definitely ranting. There were parts where he was ranting about like how children these days are spoiled, and I'm like, where's the jokes? I know. <laughs> this is getting like kind of a. Heated. Uh, heated, like I was like, oh, I don't know. Uh. This is a really odd sensation because we're walking to the back of the boat and the boat's going forward. So beside us, it looks like we're not moving. It smells divine. It smells like really rich pancakes. Yeah. There's uh, uh, food everywhere. Literally, it's on the sea mines. <laughs> okay, there's some. Um, Smoked salmon with cream cheese eggs. I just thought I'd try it. These are just regular eggs. A little hot sauce and ketchup. That is a cheddar biscuit hash brown with some gravy. I don't know. Apricot, apricot Danish, Belgian waffle, and some sauce. My my uh, eyes are bigger than my stomach. And I. Uh, oh, that's a lot of bacon. And I still wanted more food, but I couldn't fit it on my plate. Oh my word! We have forever to walk. Look. And we're at the very, very front of the ship. Look, and I got this stuff too. My thighs is like shit hurt. Oh, it is bright outside. Um, we just got back from breakfast, which was amazing. I had a poached pear, was it called? <laughs> I don't even know, but it was pretty amazing. Um, yeah, so much syrup. Oh, geez. But uh, it was funny because this guy came by where we were uh, we were seated, and he had like these two little flyers, and he was like, "Would you guys like to do wine tasting?" And I was like. Oh yeah, maybe, possibly. And he's like, okay, well here's this wine tasting brochure. Um, this one is about $10 a person. And I was like, cool, well I, I might like to do this. And he was like, good. And I was like, okay, well I don't know yet. Can I hold on to this thing? And he was like, well what would I show the passengers? And I was like, you go grab another one. <laughs> Cause it was just a piece of paper. It wasn't like you, he had this like nice brochure. It was like, you know, printed piece of paper, like you could just, they, they hand out. <laughs> and he was like, just staring at me. I was like, oh, okay, go away now. <laughs> it was very funny, but very awkward. <laughs> I don't even know if we're gonna go do the wine tasting. We might though, Amanda oh. wants to go to the library. They might have new books, I don't know. I'm curious. New books? Yeah. What's a new book? A new book that has just come out. Why would they have that? I don't know. Stay up to date? Oh, look at this view though. Now we are on the seventh deck, I believe. Yeah. Right? We're on deck seven. Yeah. You can clearly see how much faster we're going when we're closer to the water. Look how cool that looks. Look 
the colors. So beautiful. It's turquoise. <laughs> yeah. Very pretty. We're in the library. I didn't bring a book. Look this elevator we can see for miles and miles and miles this is a pretty fancy elevator look what? at the ceiling it's pretty it is pretty it's very pretty fancy <laughs> hey hey how's it going we are on the top deck of the ship this is called the sun deck and this is the very front of the boat and it's called the sanctuary oh. and i guess people come up here to I guess people come up here to get some sun. Look at the view. Look how pretty this view is. So how to get around here. So I think we're gonna do a little more exploring. I kind of like that this is fake grass. We're at the back of the boat now and this is the wake and you can see that it's going for miles and miles and miles all the way down that way. It's very pretty. I like how the, the water and the colors mix. We met a fan. How's it going? Hi, What's your I'm name? Well. I'm Aline. Aline. How's it going, Aline? Who, who well. knew you were going to be on this cruise? Did you know we were going to go on this cruise? No, I didn't. <laughs> How cool is that? Hello. Well, it was a really nice meeting <laughs> nice you. Nice meeting you, too. <laughs> Let's get a picture now, yeah? All right, check this out. Boom. Boom. Classic burger. Ham, it was, cheeseburger, and fries. It was only a matter of time before he had a burger. I found it, and now it's mine. <laughs> How is it? Tasty. On a scale of one to ten. So I guess six. Six? But including the view? We're ramping it up to an eight. Awesome. Awesome. Hello oh, and welcome to our vlog channel! No, just kidding. Haha, <laughs> did I mess you up? That's like in the middle of the <laughs> I video. Know. <laughs> I know. Um, What's the matter with just you? wanted to pop in and say hello because I felt like it. I hope you all are doing great. We are in our room chilling because we got tired from doing nothing. Yes, what she said. What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. I'm just relaxing, trying to relax and relax and. <laughs> we just watched the Parks and Rec, and I think I'm gonna watch one more. I'm gonna take a nap. Mm. About to get drunk. <laughs> tell them, tell them what we're doing. We're doing a wine tasting, and if you look at the tables, they all look super fancy and fun. Yeah, super fancy. Although I probably should have eaten something before I came because I need food in my stomach. I don't. About to get buzzed. Oh, so these are our five glasses that we're going to be drinking, and our little souvenir shot glass. So, and they're all numbered: one, two, three, four, and five. Did you notice this one's bigger? Yeah. Alright, so we just got back from our wine- Whoa, calm down. As you can see, we just got back from our wine tasting and someone can't handle her alcohol well. Wine plus caffeine equals a very energetic Amanda. <laughs> what? I thought you liked this. <laughs> I do, you're just making a fool of yourself. Alright, calm down there. Calm we down. are going to check out the outside because the pastel colors of the balcony <laughs> is amazing. <laughs> no, what I was actually gonna say is we just got back from wine tasting and our cousin, whom we got this cruise for at a discount, which is awesome, uh, sent us this special gift. Here, take off the top there. Look at how awesome this is, guys. What? Look at that! Chocolate covered strawberries. This Big shout out to you, Gus. The most amazing thing ever. I love chocolate dipped strawberries. <laughs> what? You need to calm down. A wine tasting isn't supposed to get you drunk. Well, I guess people do that can't tolerate did, did alcohol. Did you see that the waiter was giving me less than everybody else? Well, you're a very small person. Exactly. He knew that I couldn't handle it. You didn't even drink? I drank half of yours. No, no, no. I drank all the whites. <laughs> and I didn't drink all the reds because reds are not my favorite. 
Now we're just going to enjoy our view with some chocolate covered strawberries. Look at this view. Look how ve like velvety the water is. It's like perfect. It's glassy as they call it. And we are moving too. This is about as calm as the ocean can get. It's beautiful and it would be perfect to take pictures of people. <laughs> I wish that there's a couple here that I could take pictures of. Since the show tonight is, what is it called? Something? It's called Boogie. It's called Disco. Disco at the Boogie. Blame, blame it on the Boogie. Blame it on the Boogie. That's not our thing. So we're going to stay in, as you can see, grab the whole bunch of food here. Most of it's pretty healthy. What? Should. There's cake and cake and... That's yours. No, it's not. Yeah. We got some food here. We're going to eat it. We're going to chill, relax, just do our thing. And then uh, we've got this little, what's, where's that little thing that we can sign up for uh, a food delivery for the morning? More food? Yes, uh, all you can think about on a cruise is food. That's just how this thing works. There we go. We get this, put this little thing on the door here and we just have them tell them when to deliver it and just sign up for how much we want of what. And it's pretty amazing because I'm going to get coffee, oh. I'm going to get eggs, bacon, bacon bacon times eight on this and then yeah <laughs> although the selection on that is a lot less less than this morning yeah plus i think i might go down and get a specialty coffee yeah but this one's just so when we wake up this is just so it's going to be like literally waiting at our door how amazing is that um but anyways guys this is the end of day two thank you for very much watching <laughs> thank you for very Bew! much watching. it is now day three and I see land. And that cool patch right over there, you see that right here? That's pretty cool. We just got our room service delivered. That looks tasty. I'm gonna go have some of that. Look how nice and calm. It's so nice out here. It's gotta be like 70 degrees right now. It's gotta be like 70 degrees with a slight cool breeze. Guys, that's Mexico, right there. That's pretty cool. That's beautiful. So we are getting much closer now. And now we're at the, looks like the docks. We're going in there, as you can see. Looks pretty cool, am I right? Look at all those birds, though. So many birds. Never expected so many birds. I was wearing my old clothes before because uh, we had, uh, the lady come and drop off all that food so uh that's why i was i woke up and i put on my my clothes from yesterday and i was like i can take it because <laughs> my hair was all crazy and everything oh man that was funny there is an infestation of birds seagulls to be exact not entirely sure what's happening maybe some people throwing stuff overboard no no one's throwing anything overboard they're just some crazy seagulls. Look at Mexico, we're closer. You know what I find really interesting? I find really interesting that we live so close to Mexico. Literally, we can get to Mexico in like three, four or five hours, I don't know, something like that, from where we live, from where we live. <clears throat> and obviously Mexico and Mexicans can uh, come to California and the United States, but it's so funny because not a lot of not a lot of Americans, Californians, can speak Spanish. However, um, and that's and what I noticed too is not a lot of Mexicans can speak English. That the Mexicans that are immigrating from Mexico, um, not a lot of them can speak English. They can probably speak English as much as we can speak Spanish. But it's so funny because I noticed that in a lot of countries um, in Europe, a lot of people speak many different languages. So question of the day: How many languages do you speak, and what language? because I'm really curious, again though, that a lot of countries in Europe are a lot smaller um, even than California. California is bigger than some countries in Europe. But uh, I still find that really interesting that um, culturally they refuse to teach the other language um, at a reasonable time when your brain's still growing in California and I imagine it's somewhat similar in, in Mexico. I, I don't know because I can't speak from experience. It's the first time I've ever been in Mexico. but. Um, I would imagine that it's somewhat similar because there's always a huge language barrier whenever um, 
you're seeing someone that just uh, immigrated from Mexico. Interesting. There is a seal down there that's ruining the party. I don't know if you can hear it. Uh, I don't know if you, you couldn't hear them, but like two seconds ago, they were barking like mad. But these two things right there are seals. Um, they're just chilling right there. And uh, much to do about nothing. I don't know, they're just chilling. See that seal? He's barking. They're trying to get him off. Okay, so apparently we found the jogging track um, and the uh, putting green. Not all of the elevators have access to Deck 19. That's why I didn't know Deck 19 existed. Yeah, because look, Deck 19 stops and then it becomes the back of the ship. This is the, the, the butt of the ship. What? <laughs> So we found the little spot at which um, you can see from our room that little that little part that extends over the ship, and I just wanted to show you. So you can see kind of the ship. There's a helicopter we saw this morning. Smile. Hello. <laughs> I am standing on the top of the ship. <laughs> this is Mexico. This is Mexico, guys. All right, do it, baby. You know what to do. <laughs> I can't hear you. He says I'm king of the world. Okay, I can't. Do say it louder. I'm on top of the world. Fool. <laughs> 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 The magic show. It's a comedy magician. Comedy magician, right? Right. Are you excited? I'm excited. You look really beautiful. Oh, dog. Look at her little shoes and everything like that. I don't know. I should have put on my lotion. <laughs> lotion is directly related to beauty, so. <laughs> Alright, what you got there? I got Jack and Coke. A little heavy on the Jack. And, uh, <laughs> really nice. That's how Jack. That's how Jack and Coke is made. I usually put a tiny bit of Jack and a lot of Coke. <laughs> well, this is the stage for the magic show. That was hilarious. Oh my word, that's so made up for the first show that we watched, which was terrible. <laughs> Yeah, the first show wasn't that good, but this first one was one hilarious. Was um, this one was really great. What was his name? Christopher James. Christopher James. He's a comedian. Look him up. He does um, 500 shows a year. 500 shows a year. That's insane. That's definitely insane. But anyways, we're going to turn in. It's not even late at all, but you know what? We're going to sleep, I don't know, 10 hours? We have to get up early and pack up all our stuff because we have to be out of our room by 8.30. This is the last night on the cruise we're looking forward to getting back though and getting some stuff done because we love what we do so it's kind of like you know whatever but uh yeah so we'll see you tomorrow morning for the very final day all right pew! all right it is the last day on our cruise and we're making our way off here is la kind of loud like like usual we are in our car and to be honest with you that was pretty painless it was, surprisingly. That was surprisingly painless. Um, I would say that we had a lot of fun on the cruise. That was a blast. Um, for people that love to work and do our job, um, I think the amount of time that we stayed on is a perfect amount of time. Oh, okay, see you later. I guess you wanted to go back on it. I don't know if I'd want to be on a cruise any longer unless we are either in a nicer room or we had a nicer ship. Um, not, the, not that the ship wasn't nice. The ship was super nice. The staff, yeah. that, they were weird. They All were honestly weird. Staff, All of them were really, really kind of weird. A little bit Rude. off, invasive. Really invasive. Like there was a privacy sign and they still came through the door. Stuff like that. And there was this one, we were like, oh, we'd like to settle our charge. She's like, it would be great if you could give me your card. I was no, like, she didn't even say my, your card. She's like, can you just give me something? Can you give me something? Like, and I was like, we don't know you what didn't to ask give for you. it. <laughs> like, ask for it. We don't know what to give you. So they give us, they give you a little card that you can put all your charges on, and it links to the card that you bought your tickets with, um, which is pretty cool. So you can just go in and just give them that card, and they'll swipe it anywhere, and it works for almost everything on the ship. So that's pretty awesome. The food was decent. Um, what they what they lacked in finesse gave up 
uh, they made up for in the quantity. <laughs> yeah. Which, you know, I, I like I like an all-you-can-eat. And it, for all-you-can-eat, it was pretty good. It was it was pretty good. We would definitely go on it again. All in all, I think we had a lot of fun. Um, that comedy show was really great last night, too. What, we, what would you say about the trip, Amanda Faye? The trip? This trip I, that we were just on. <laughs> well, well, you mumbled the trip. It sounded like trip and show together. <laughs> Um, I had a lot of fun. It was nice to like have a new experience and try new things and I really enjoyed the comedy show last night. That was really funny and I'm glad I got to spend it with you. Aww. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The Princess Cruises. We are on the Crown Princess and next time we'd probably try a different ship. I don't know, just because. And uh, just our, room wasn't, our room wasn't that small. I like the room size wasn't too bad and we enjoyed it a lot. So thank you very much for coming along and we will see you tomorrow high five and welcome how's it going guys i am matthias and this is my lovely wife Amanda Faye. and today we are doing an apartment tour a house tour because we've never done one in this apartment in this apartment and you guys have been bugging us it is not terribly big of an apartment as you can clearly see it's not that clean either yeah it is eh, it it's very work. clean 